away for so long, I had a severe, severe spinal injury. I herniated a disc in my thoracic spine, my neck, my shoulder, my right arm. My right arm was basically useless for weeks. I'm happy to report now I'm recovering very well. I've started training again, and um, my arm is still extremely weak. I have a pinched nerve. I have nerve damage. Definitely, I'm in, uh, still in recovery. However, um, I'm feeling much, much better. The pain was so horrendous. I had a herniated disc in my thoracic spine. I have a herniated disc in my thoracic spine. The first two weeks, I had to travel. So I hurt my neck, and then I had to travel about 48 hours later. And let me tell you something. That was brutal. Traveling with a herniated disc, my neck was completely stiff and frozen. I was in horrendous pain. Can't sleep, can't move, can't adjust. I had a professional fight to go to, went to that. And um, I'm rehabbing my neck now. Lots of... Uh, there's lots to know when you're when you're rehabbing your spine. This is a very important topic, especially for martial artists. You're going to eventually hurt your spine. And I have two great videos for the spine. S strong and stable back for life and strong and stable neck for life. And of course, I'm using all the strong and stable decongesting the spine, elongating the spine. That saved me. When I was on my flight, I was on a f uh, four-hour flight. The way I was sitting was super important if i had s tried to sit like you know regular people do i would have been dead that like i would have been in too much pain i'm doing all this without painkillers by the way keep that in mind no painkiller whatsoever okay i had anti-inflammatories but no painkiller i'm sitting in a with a technique that i teach in the, in the video where you concave your spine you unroll your spine and you hook it you hook your spine on the back of a chair and you can see that my spine now is elongated i do the same thing with my neck and then my spine is decongesting the whole ride. When I landed, I was actually feeling better than when I took off. Why? I was decongesting my spine the entire time. However, because I have such a severe herniation in my in my thoracic spine, the thoracic spine is in this region here, I used a neck crane, something I didn't feature in my Strong and Stable Neck for Life, which I, I will be updating Strong and Stable Neck in the coming weeks, and I will be adding the neck crane. Why? Because the neck crane... The reason why I didn't add it in the first uh, version of Strong and Stable Neck is because I think very few people would need a neck crane. Okay, But there are a lot of guys out there out, out there doing jiu-jitsu, wrestling, MMA. You will herniate your disc sooner or later. And I should definitely uh, make it known that the neck crane is one of the greatest tools to decongest a hernia in your neck or thoracic spine. Now, neck, I have a really good method. You know, I showed in the video. I, decongesting the neck is not so hard. The thoracic spine is much harder to decongest. And the thing is, only 1% of herniations, 1% of herniations, disc herniations, happen in the thoracic spine. Like, it is very rare. That's why I didn't add the, the neck crane. However, still, I was in so much agony, and the neck crane gave me so much relief that I'm going to add it, even though only 1% of you out there will, will really need it. Okay, but it's still so... It's so important to have this. The neck crane is basically, you, you have like this neck hammock. They put this neck hammock around your neck. You buy it at Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. It's not expensive. Maybe 40 bucks. You hang the crane on, on the door. So you have this rope that comes down. It's holding your, your neck up. Your neck's in a cradle. And then you have this rope and you click, click, click. And as you click the gears, it starts to pull your neck. It starts to pull your neck. And it starts to suspend your neck higher and higher. If you go far enough and you relax, you will start to decongest the thoracic spine. It is incredible. I'm doing it three times a day. I could tell you that um, I I feel tremendous relief. Now, the first two weeks, I didn't use it because the injury was so acute. I didn't want to do something so aggressive. I was just using the Alexander technique to decongest my spine. I was doing it very gently. Guys, you don't want to do this when your injury is fresh, when it's acute. Once the pain subsides a little bit, now it's time to decongest the spine. There are two methods to really decongest the spine really well. One, you can have a partner using a towel. I'll show that also in, in, in Strong and Stable Neck for Life. I'm going to add this to Strong and Stable Neck. And then the neck crane. The neck crane, however, is another level. If you have a neck injury or a, a thoracic spine injury, I highly recommend the neck crane. I'm doing it three times a day. I'm getting tremendous relief, even though sleeping for me is still very difficult, still very painful. However, I highly, highly recommend anybody out there who is injured.
to the thoracic spine. And I know it's not many of you because only one percent of, th- of, of only one percent of disc herniations happen in the thoracic spine. The rest are usually in L four, L five, the lower spine, the lower the lower back. With that said, guys, I will be podcasting as usual, back on a regular basis. I was just in pure agony the last, I would say, two to three weeks. How did I hurt my neck? Well, I had a neck injury, and then I decided to wrestle through. I broke my own rule. I always talk about working, training in a margin of safety, never overdoing it. I'm always talking about it, and even I sometimes get tempted. I get frustrated like everybody else. I don't want to take a break. I don't want to take a day off. I don't want to just do fitness. I want to wrestle. I feel like wrestling today. And I was wrestling, hit the ground, fell on the ground, popped my neck, thoracic injury, my neck, the pain shot up my neck, went down my arm. I have very little strength in my right arm. It's it's incredibly painful. I tried to do one dip. I cannot even do one dip. Like that's how much strength I've lost in my right side. I am rolling again. I've started training again. I've started grappling again. I feel very good. The neck crane is really decompressing my spine. I would say my pain is 50% better. It's manageable. I'm training with a margin of safety as usual. I'm more flow rolling. I'm not really rolling hard. I'm just kind of flow rolling, working up a sweat, getting the body, uh, you know, just limber and taking it very easy on my uh, body. 